It looks like Mizzou basketball will be without Michael Porter Jr. again tomorrow night. Sources close to the Tiger basketball program tell KRCG 13 that Porter did not travel to Utah with the team. MPJ played only two minutes in the opener last Friday when apparently he aggravated or a hip or leg or back injury during warmups. Porter Jr. did not even come out on the court for Missouri's second game against Wagner on Monday night. Instead, he stayed in the locker room. Now, according to sources, he is staying home. The Tigers will play their first road game of the season, playing Utah in Salt Lake City tomorrow night. Missouri off to a 2-0 start after home wins over Iowa State and Wagner. Neither game was really in doubt, even with Porter Jr. playing just two minutes in the opener, scoring two points. Tomorrow night's game will likely be more of a challenge. The Utes have a veteran team, four senior starters, although Utah does not have NBA level level talent. A talented team, big physical guys that guards can make shots. They'll push it, uh, especially at home. They'll get out and run. They'll space you out. Their bigs are mobile. Uh, they can make shots. Um, so it'll be a good game. 7 p.m. start our time tomorrow night. Missouri at Utah does not appear that Michael Porter Jr. would play. According to sources, he did not travel with the team today. The game will be televised on the Pac-12 network. Check your own satellite or cable providers to see if you can get that one. Missouri women's basketball team opening the home season tomorrow night after a one and one start at the Hawkeye Classic in Iowa City last weekend. The Tigers are ranked number 23 in the nation this week. Jordan Frerich's off to a very good start. Nearly 24 points and 10 rebounds a game so far. After missing all of last season due to injury, tomorrow's first home game will be extra special for Frerich's. I'm so excited. I can't wait. It's good to be home. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be able to enjoy every minute of it. She kind of had to get back her first game a little bit, get that confidence back. But after she got that confidence, she's a freaking beast. I'm so excited for her. I mean, her numbers proved what she did on the boards and um, in points. And so she's uh, going to be a tough one to guard this year. 7 p.m. tip off at Mizzou Arena. The Tigers welcome the Rowdy Raiders of Wright State from Ohio. The high school basketball season opens this weekend, and for some small mid-Missouri schools, uh, others will tip off just before Thanksgiving next week, while some, like the Mexico Bulldogs, will begin the following week. New head coach Darren Pappas hopes to bring some stability to the program after serving as an assistant for three different head coaches at Mexico over the last five years. Pappas is a former Mexico Bulldog player who takes pride in coaching his alma mater. It's been a great experience. Um, I'm excited to get started this season. Uh, it's always fun to lead your uh, alma mater and uh, give back to the community that has given so much, you know, over the years. Mexico basketball opening the season Tuesday, November 28th against Boonville. Centralia softball coach Jill Angel is stepping down from her post after 19 years leading the Lady Panthers. Angel led Centralia to four state championships over the last seven years, including three straight. One of the most successful coaches in any sport in mid-Missouri, Jill Angel, will stay on as a teacher at Centralia. Just wanted to slow down a bit and give someone else the opportunity to coach. Rod's Big Old Fish is brought to you by the Not Not Agency. Proud supporters of the Colt County Jefferson City Thanksgiving Prayer Breakfast one week from today at the Farm Bureau in Jefferson City. And we want to thank Adam Burns for sending in this picture of a big old catfish, 75 pounds, caught on the Missouri River. That's Mark Stallings, who actually made the catch, and that is Mark on the right side of the picture. Here's a good fish story for you. Lou Freidinger from Jefferson City caught the only bass on a distraction trip to a private farm pond in Gasconade County. His mission, along with Randy Ford, was to take their good friend, Dr. Greg Pop, away so the family could prepare for a surprise retirement party for Dr. Pop. Hopefully with that retirement, Dr. Pop and the other guys will have a little more time for fishing and more pictures for Rod's Big Old Fish.